Well, England and Australia begin a new era of women's rugby with the opening match of WXV1. Three weeks of world-class action. Last one was overthrown. This one wasn't in England's set piece. Works well. Bottom and charging, bumping bodies and crashing over the line. What a charge and what a strike from Hannah Bottoman. Neil. They keep coming. Les Vieva's got numbers wide. Can't get it there. Maisie Allen pops the ball for Jones. Spins along. The hands are quick. They're good. The footwork from Breach is excellent. The step and the weave and now the strength. Pops it back in field. And Ella Vivas is on the board for England. No. England pressing again. Packer once more. It's Annabelle Cody, isn't it? His yeah, LJ, that is your best angle. Okay, cool. So, guys, for me, Lauren I have five green is always in an upright position. Okay, so it'll be yellow card. Hang on. Yeah. Anyway, England are going and they're going to rumble here and roll towards the line, and it's easy as you like. Getting it down eventually. Absolutely superb execution. Is it Connie Powell who's going to come up with or Marley Packer, in fact? Oh, Croft, they'll set the drive on set, her. Set, it's set, Packer set, again. Set. The sack was good, though, from New Australia, advantage. but they've got advantage Hands once more. Pressure feet. coming on. Vervas, little dart down the blind side, and Jess Breach has scored plenty of tries. This one will be one of her easiest. Here they come again. Gallagher oh. with the take. Cribbing sideways. It's there for Connie Powell at the back. Tucked in again as they barrel Galligan towards the line. It's another perfect execution of the rolling ball for England. Oh, Packer making a nuisance of herself. No advantage, no advantage no there. Advantage. There's still the penalty, though. Number three. Okay. Oh, a quick tap from Morgan. And the big yeah. dummy thrown by Ashley Masters okay. onto the field. Scores a try. Great heads up play from the Wallaroos. Here, Australia is marshalling the troops as they pour forward once more. England with some strong carries. Okay, A little short ball for Meg Jones in close. Oh, it's tricky. It was cutting. Right. And Megan Jones scores. For me, this be a yellow card. But then because it's her second yellow, it would then be upgraded to a red. Do you guys agree with that? Menace, do you agree with the yellow card? Yes, I agree. Because it's her second yellow card, that is then upgraded to a red. OK? Yeah. That's it. Yeah. yeah. So, and she that's... takes him there to send out of our Cody. Now it's a record. Second high shot. <laughs> England <laughs> with the opening win of WXV1. They flex their muscles early in the competition. Well, well led by Marley Packer. And it's England on the board with a 42 points to seven win. Obviously, it's the first game of the tournament, so we were really focusing on a big start. Um, we think we were really clinical in that first half, but a couple of fix up in the second. But yeah, we're really pleased with that. First start for uh, scrum half, Ella Vivas. What was your role in supporting her this evening? Um, I think just let her play to her natural instincts. Ella's um, obviously a really good player. I play at club with her, so um, it was a natural progression you know, to take it onto the international stage. Awesome. And what does it mean to, to wear that red rose so far away from your country? Um, I think everything, like it's a cliche answer, but I think, you know, after the World Cup last year, it's good to be back out here on New Zealand soil. Okay, and if there's any areas of your game that you could be critical about, what, what is it that you'd like to improve? Um, I think we were really happy with the first half, but definitely coming out into the second half, we just stalled a little bit of momentum, um, lost our way a little bit with the kicking, so yeah, that'll be something we'll focus on next week. Marley, congratulations on that victory. How do you sum it up? Uh, yeah, it was a great victory. The Aussies come out there, gave us a really good game, asked us loads of questions, but we talk about courage and being courageous, and that's what we did today as an England team, and we're going to grow into this tournament, and this game was the start of that, and we just make sure that we, we watch this game back and then uh, get the recovery and ready on to Canada next week. 
It was a historic moment this evening, opening match of WXV1. What's your thoughts on about this inaugural uh, WXV competition? Yeah, it's a fantastic competition. Look, we're all excited to be here, playing the, playing the top teams in the world, top tier. Um, you, you don't get that all the time in coming off the World Cup last year and keeping that legacy, keeping that run of um, playing over here in New Zealand and keeping that going is, yeah, fantastic to be a part of. And I know the girls are really enjoying it over here. Yeah, and what was it like coming back to New Zealand after the World Cup? Yeah, how's the feeling in camp? Oh, the camp's feeling really good. Look, um, we're a new look England side, um, and we're we're really enjoying the way we're playing at the moment. We've got new um, coaching staff, and Mitch is now here with us. We've done a lot of training without him, but we're really pleased that he's here with us now. And look, we're just looking to keep growing and building into next week's game. Well, great start, and all the best for the rest of the tournament. Thank you very much. Thank you.